I'm the one. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be getting into these fall green customized press on nails. So the first thing I like to do before I start making a set is to just organize everything and put it where I need to be. I have all my nail sizes, my nail polishes, my base gels, and my top coats. Along with my nail glue, my nail stands, buffers of course, and my nail file and my nail accessories and everything that I plan on using to achieve this bomb nail finish. So first things first, you wanna make sure you glove on up. You don't wanna be putting fingerprints all over your pretty nails that you are about to create. So I like to go ahead and buff off that shiny layer on top of the press on nails. This gives the polish a better surface to adhere to because honestly I don't use base gel and it works just as fine but you always want to make sure you're getting rid of that shiny layer because if you try to put polish on top of that shiny layer without a base gel, your polish is going to peel. Gel, acrylic, it don't matter, regular polish, gel polish, it's going to all peel sis so don't do that, alright? Now that that shiny layer is buffed off of all our nails, we're going to go ahead and place our nails on the nail stand. So the best way to place them is with the putty directly in the middle of the nail. This basically is going to center your whole nail so it's not too high or too low. It's just really, really flat. And I did not put new putty on my stands because this putty was still sticking to it. So don't judge me, but we trying to save putty around here because I hate using new putty every time I do a new set and I make a new set like almost every day. Ain't nobody got time for that. So now that our nails are on the stand, we are ready to get started with our polish. So I am using this beaded gel polish that I brought from Amazon. The whole set I believe was less than $30. And this is in the shade 338. It is really a dark green and I feel like this green would be so pretty for fall. So I'm going to just start coating my nails. I do take them off the... Um, this the tray that they're sitting on because of the fact that i feel it's easier to for me to just manipulate it when i hold it in my hand and polish them on that way so yeah i did do about um four to five coats of polish just because these are press on nails and there's no acrylic at all you know i wanted to just make sure these nails was going to be extra extra sturdy so i did do a lot of coats of polish but yeah you're in my business yeah, don't do that. All 
all right you guys so i wanted to show you guys my polishing process and really how i go about polishing my press on nails but i'm not gonna make you sit here and watch through this whole process in slow-mo so i did go ahead and speed it up to the fastest i can just to make it easier for you guys and if you see my camera shaking throughout the throughout this it was because i kept kicking my ring light and i didn't even realize that i was kicking my ring light until afterwards but yeah so i'm only doing green on my pinky my index and my ring my thumb and my i was trying to decide between my ring and my um, middle finger on which one i wanted to do gold but i ended up doing it on my middle finger because i wanted to do a fall leaves on my ring finger i felt like that would be really cute and it would just really flow in with the fall leaf thing so yeah instead of putting um any polish on the ring finger nails i just used my base gel to add a couple of coats to make that nail thick and i put it in my lamp for 120 seconds and i always do 120 seconds i don't really know why don't ask me why that's just always the button i go to but you, the normal process is to let it cure for 60 seconds and then keep it moving but yeah i would just let you guys sit and watch this whole thing and then i'll come back and talk you through how i did the fall leaf design All right, you guys, so now this is where I will be applying my fourth coat of gel polish, and I will also be adding in the fall leaf design on my ring fingers on this set as well. So now let's get into this design. I'm going to be taking my rhinestone glue. Yes, it's rhinestone glue, but I'm be using it for this as well because it works just as well. When you get this glue, please be very careful because it is extremely sticky and it will stick to basically every darn thing. 
So I'm scooping it out with the flat end of the brush and just dotting it over my nail because I don't know exactly where I want to put the leaves at. I just know I want them to be on the nail. And when you're done, you can I just put cover it up with a top coat so it doesn't really even be sticky. It won't be sticky no more. Um, and I'm right here. I'm just using the diamond to sit the nail on so the nail doesn't fall over. And I'm gonna just dump the leaves out of the container because it's just hard work trying to get them out of there. And in order to place the leaves curved like I want them, I am gonna be bending some of them a little bit to put a curve in it to place over the curve of my nail. Now that the rind the rhinestones child by now that the leaves are on there, we just went ahead and cured it. I cured it for the 120 times two because this is right before I put on the top coat. So I used matte on top of the green nails, and then I used my shiny i guess it's just a regular top coat the regular glossy top coat on top of the glitter the shimmer nail and the fall leaves and that really just helps encapsulate the leaves or you can just really go use acrylic and encapsulate them and all of that good stuff but this is supposed to be a simple tutorial we ain't got time for all of that so yeah after this we just let it cure for 120 times two again to make sure that polish is just all the way set in and we'll be done So now this is what the nails look like completely cured. They are so beautiful, so pretty, and so different. I am absolutely in love with how they came out. So I just went ahead and took them off of the putty, put them in a box just to take pictures because I am going to end up wearing them. But I wanted to be special and put them in a box to take pictures and all that goodness. Just to show you guys how it would normally be if you know you were to purchase a set. This is how it will come in the packaging. So I placed them before I place them in the box. I actually set them on the napkin just to look at them and make sure nothing was wrong. If you need to do any last minute filings to shape up a nail or if you really need to fix something, then this will be the time that you go back and do that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you liked the way these nails came out and whatever type of nails you want to see me do next, please let me know down in the comment section below and I will definitely record a tutorial for you guys so you can see it and I'll see you guys in my next video.